Two teenagers are shot while standing inside a home on the south side. The violence comes ahead of what police hope is a much calmer weekend compared to last week when 66 people were shot between Friday and Sunday. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live at Christ Hospital with more on the strategy that officers will be using. Lauren, good morning. Hi there, Aaron. I just first want to tell you about this tragic case from overnight. Emergency room doctors are hoping these two teens hold on. The young girl and boy are in critical condition right now. The two 17-year-olds were simply standing in a kitchen inside a home when someone from the outside gunned them down around 2 a.m. This happened on 87th and Princeton, which is right off of the Dan Ryan near multiple restaurants, stores, and a movie theater. This area is also part of the 6th District, one of five police districts that will be flooded with police this weekend. The head of CPD ordered hundreds of extra officers to patrol neighborhoods in the 5th, 6th, 10th, 11th, and 15th districts. That's on the south and west sides after 66 people were shot across the city last weekend. Superintendent Eddie Johnson said 20% of those shootings stemmed from large parties, which he said attracts gang violence. His men and women in blue will focus on breaking up big crowds and 30 emergency dispersions zones this weekend. The goal is not to be out there arresting people because they're trying to enjoy the summertime. That's not the goal. But once we say, you know, it's time to move on, then it's time to move on. But we also need the community's help in letting us know when these large gatherings occur because we want everybody to be safe. Now, Johnson added that community outreach officers will work with those who have permitted block parties this weekend. By the way, the shooting on 87th that landed those two teens here, it's the fourth shooting since just 9 o'clock last night. I'm Lauren Victory reporting live outside the emergency room, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Lauren, thank you.